for whom it may concern. I feel scared that even people I know can make me afraid. Maybe I know how you feel, maybe you think I don't. But thanks to guns, I don't want to go to school. Also, thanks to my anxiety, it just gets worse every day in class. I can't work without wondering who might just snap and hurt everyone I love. Whenever I get up in the morning, I dread going to school, but do so for my friend's safety. In class, I have thoughts about what might happen or who might die. It just hurts so much. Sometimes I even cry in the middle of class because of the thought my friends or family possibly getting hurt or killed because of someone. How can I concentrate in class with that going on? In class, I wanted to protect everyone more than doing schoolwork because of the people causing all the pain and suffering with or without the weapons. That is the world we live in now. Government is just making it worse with bulletproof backpacks, yet bullets are sold so cheap. I thought the government's job was to protect us, and all those things did not make me feel safe. This is me showing kids can make a difference too, so I'm doing my part. Please do yours. We can change this world we live in now, no matter how old you are. Sincerely, Lena. To whom it may concern, I feel concerned about why kids feel unsafe in places they, for, they should feel protected and safe in. I feel that at any time someone can come into school and scare them in many different ways. The U.S. has had 24 school shootings by the time of June 19, 2018, and that's almost one school shooting every week. 40 to 60 years ago, school teachers and their students didn't have to worry about lockdown drills because lockdowns didn't occur. People with high power don't do anything to help. When school shootings occur, people say that they would pray for the victims to have their life cut short. But we need change. Now I would put this in a parent's point of view. How would you feel if your son or daughter told you they couldn't be able to wear the book bag you bought them? Maybe because they need a bulletproof book bag, or as soon as they go in school, they need to put on a bulletproof vest. To the parents that get their kids video games, what if your, ch your child was to get a school shooting game, and you have the choice to be the shooter or the squad team member? How would you feel if you walked in and them playing this game? If the U.S. could upgrade the security at schools or other areas, then that will decrease the amount of school shootings. Sincerely, Kobe. To whom it may concern, I think it's very important that you know how it is to be a middle schooler in today's America. It is scary knowing that I go to school to get a degree and to be successful in life, yet my life can be cut short by someone who needs help instead of a gun. You need to know what it's like to hear on the news that there's been another school shooting, thinking, what if my school is next? What if I'm the next victim? Have you ever had to think about someone shooting up your school? That's something that scars somebody, hearing their, seeing their friends get shot, and then hearing their screams echo in your ears days later. What I'm trying to prove or say is that, yes, the American society we live in today is extremely troubled with school shootings but what i'm not saying is that we can't change that you might not be able to change the entire problem but if you don't do anything you are the problem sincerely holly to whom it may concern what i think about the world is that kids are dying for nothing what reason is it and for what cost it really makes me angry that kids are dying. I really just want to take a stand and protect the children. I'm just so tired of seeing the parents on the news crying about their babies dying. This needs to end now. Another reason that these kids, these children's parents are home weeping while saying, what did my baby do to deserve this? This is the stuff that really enrages me. I just want this to stop. I don't like seeing death because it badly hurts me on the inside. I just want to see a new world. There's this one quote that goes, positivity helps the soul, but hurt is the first step of confusion in the mind and the soul. With shootings in the world, this makes kids not feel safe within the community. For all future kids, I will make something right in the world. The first step to reaching that goal is to ensure the safety of everyone. This will be over. Mark my words. 
Sincerely, LeRon. To whom it make a sense? I'm in high school and I'm scared to step out the door because I'm scared that if a gunman comes in, he's going to get me first. I'm scared that any time a gunman can storm in my classroom and end my life or my friend's lives. The word school shootings or 10 people that scares me is not even in schools. It's everywhere. Park, the movie, the pool, the streets. I'm scared to use the bathroom because what if something happens? I'm trapped. I'm gone. I feel very unsafe everywhere I go. Every day I try to live like it's my last because tomorrow is a promise. And the middle of the day, I think, what if a grown man comes in at school? I get mad when other pe people pick on others. It makes me sad that students have to go to school with beautiful things. It's crazy how your parents send kids to school not knowing they might not come back the same or at all. It scares me that kids you sit by can come to school one day and decide, I want to show up to school today. Please do your part and prevent this. Try to be everyone's friend and be nice to everyone. Sincerely, Amir. To whom we may concern. I was concerned all about the school shootings this year. It's a lot and it needs to be stopped. Someone needs to take a stand or more people will get hurt, not just adults, but kids. Just giving them bulletproof bags will make them more scared because they know they are not safe. So when you see someone posting guns or saying that they are gonna shoot up schools or anywhere else, report it because you never know if they're joking or not. And it's not nothing really to be joking with. I don't even want to watch the news because it makes me so scared that I see kids my age dying. I don't understand why people like them do the things they do. I don't, I don't understand how people could just kill without sympathy. Over the past few years of me almost getting hurt or dying, I truly understand the vow of living. I suggest the shooters do the same. I will never understand why people like them do the things that they do, but I'll try just for one second. They do it for a feeling of power, so forth ego and dominance, but are all those feelings truly worth the expense of countless lives of others? It's unbelievable that we had almost a school shooting almost once a week. I'm going to give these shooters some advice today. I truly hope you take it to heart because you're clearly trying to fill a void. So find another way to fill that void. And when you do, make sure no one else dies because I know I can't let no one else die. It's not a good feeling, and I hope they regret that feeling. And this goes for everyone. I just won't sit here and ignore kids and adults dying. I typed this letter because these kids and adults need to be protected. I hope everyone can be inspired and to make a positive change in this world. Sincerely, Corrupt. To whom it may concern. I feel sad that I have to think that someone is going to come in the building and shoot everyone. I, I don't want to go to school or somewhere and think I'm going to get shot. I don't like when we have lockdown drills because I really don't feel safe anymore. I want to know why someone would want to shoot a kid. The kids did nothing to them that would make them open fire. When people shoot kids, that's what makes me mad. The victims have dreams of being something, but they can't fulfill their dreams. They could have been a doctor, a basketball player, a teacher, or they can be whatever they want to be. Some kids don't have that chance anymore, and that's what makes me sad. I want kids to have a future. It can be a good one or it can be a bad one, but it's their life, and they need to make the most of it. You can be whatever you want to be. Just have fun being your, being yourself. Some kids don't have that chance anymore, but you do. If you see someone at your school or on social media 
taking pictures or watching guns than to go tell an adult or tell the cops. You can prevent the next school shooting. You have that kind of power. Don't be afraid to speak up. You can save so many lives if you do. So never be, never be afraid to say something. You have a mouth, so speak up. If you, if you see something that's not right, tell somebody. Sincerely, Leandre. To whom it may concern. My freshman year is now over. I've made new friends and even had my first homecoming dance. But now I feel worried that I won't be able to make it to senior year because at any time a shooter could come. I feel that one day my life would be cut short and I would just become another statistic about school shootings. I don't even know if my school has a lockdown policy. Sometimes I feel so scared that I sit in the corner of a room, so just in case a person comes, I could easily hide. Things could change to keep our youth safer, and we should protect our youth from mass shootings. Education and safety as a student is a basic right. How would you explain to a first grader that any day someone could come and end their lives or their friends' lives just because the shooter wanted to? We can take appropriate measures to keep our children safe. I'm sure if that we as students continue to make our voices heard, something will change. I have a lot of friends that travel, and just because the laws in America are so baseless, I wonder what it's like in other countries. I know some countries have very good gun control, like how Japan has one of the lowest gun-related homicide rates in the world, and I desperately hope America can see that after Sandy Hook, something should have changed. It has taken six years to have a discussion and action. I often think about my little brother and sister. How will I explain to them what a mass shooting is? I feel like this isn't even a topic I should talk about with them, but I want them to be prepared and protected. I hope that no matter what stance we take, we can realize people are losing their lives. I hope the discussion we are currently having can have a positive impact and change the lives of students around the country. Sincerely, Anachi. To whom it may concern, the start of 2018 has been off to a really bad start, and it is really sad that all of these, all of this has been happening. I am very sad that a lot of people lost their lives at such a young age, all because someone wanted to release the anger that they had inside of them. The thing that I don't understand is what possesses a person to hurt others, especially kids that are extremely young and innocent. These kids did not have to die for someone's uncontrolled anger or anything that they had going on. What people are doing these days is really wrong, and I do hope that this stops because a lot of innocent people are losing their lives for nothing. This hurts me a lot because I don't really understand why people have to hurt others. It scares me sometimes to be outside with my little sister because I don't I don't know who is out there and I don't know what they are capable of. Sometimes my mom doesn't want us outside because she wants to keep us safe. All I'm really trying to say is to please stop the violence and please stop taking innocent people's lives since they deserve to finish living their lives. If you are going through pain, then please get help. Sincerely, Carl. To whom it may concern, do you think it's okay how our generation functions? Students have to go through metal detectors before they can enter a classroom. They have to wear bulletproof vests or backpacks and always having to be aware of one's surroundings. When I was a child, I wanted a big family. I wanted to have siblings my age look up to me to go to the same school, always talking to one another, then become an adult and have even more children. I don't even think about that anymore. All the school shootings that are happening around the world make me worry about my little sisters and my future generations. It scares you because you have to trust in the school and the adults in the school to keep you safe. All these things happening around the world and yet we rarely have proper lockdowns. Do you know what it feels like every day before school and wondering what will happen if a lockdown occurs? It's saddening having to turn on your TV to see parents cry and mourning over their dead children. If you don't feel anything, then just know it's scary that this could happen to you any day. Our government hasn't done much yet to prevent this from happening, but as a country, we can work together and overcome this. We can get over this as one. Sincerely, Jada.